A customer in line at a Utah drive through records a dispute over an order between an employee and several men in the car ahead. The group of men attempt to escalate the beef by goading the employee into the parking lot to hash it out. When the driver gets out of the car, he is holding a gun. They got the gun. The gun wielder's friend intercepts him. One pulled out at. But it's not enough. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, seriously? Oh my god. The aggressor's friend steps in again, but still, the man seems unwilling to let it go. I don't need this. I don't until finally, they get back into their car and leave the scene. Did you get that? Hi, I got the all out video. Police are given a copy of the video. No word on any charges. According to a recent survey, 27% of customers expect to wait about two to three minutes for fast food, while 42% say five minutes is the max. And if the wait reaches the double digits, conflict is almost inevitable. That's just ignorant. That's just showing how ignorant you are. You came here, you messed up my order, you messed up my order, and then I come and I complain, and you just get ignorant and start clapping your hands. I was waiting here 20 minutes, and you should have came out here and said something when I was here 20 minutes ago waiting for my order. All right, just going right on Facebook. On. The customer claims this angry back and forth began when he asked this employee a second time where his order was. All right, this one right after already waiting for 20 minutes. This is crazy. This is crazy because my order was supposed to be ready at 11.40 and I'm just picking it up right now. And, yeah, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna sit here and eat my food and let you fuss and cuss. And though both are failing to de-escalate, is she the manager? Bruh, bruh. Only one of them the is about to cross the line. <laughs> The employee grabs a pair of scissors by the register and throws them at the customer. Now I'm calling the police. That's exactly what I'm calling now. Now I'm calling the police. Thank you. The customer claims he is hit in the shoulder, but is okay. The employee leaves before police arrive. According to Baltimore PD, she potentially faces aggravated assault charges. Now I'm calling the police. That's exactly what I'm calling now. Call them. Call them. Right now. This is crazy. Because so remember, temper your expectations when waiting for food. And you should have came out here and said something when I was here 20 minutes ago waiting for my order. And never, ever resort to violence. Because he's being rude. I didn't, I didn't listen, ignore you. Listen, hold on. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. At this fast food drive through a customer records a cashier who he claims refused to take his order. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. While she claims he was being rude. What I'm saying is that I was waiting in the front. Make sure you tag me. My Facebook name is 
gonna let tag me, baby. You know she'll be fired soon. No, but I won't. anyway, I won't. I've been anyway, look. I won't. I won't. You you took the order behind me and not I even didn't mind. I didn't take the order. I wasn't. All right, okay. Then I, I was like, sir, and then you, you said, no, you need to relax, sir. And okay, then you then you said, no, that's what you relax. said first. You relax. All right. So and look I said, now I said to you first now time. now I don't even I don't look. The, 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 yo, so you see that right? The cashier has clearly had enough of their conversation and recruits her manager to deal with the man's complaint. But she seems to have even less patience for the customer. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be disrespectful. But you were. Listen. You're not recording. No, no, no. I'm not. No, take your camera. I'm, uh, it's, your phone listen, it's totally phone. legal. It's not. Legal. Yes, it is. You're gonna tell me I've been you through this already. Me. You're gonna be famous if you close the window. All right, look. Have right here. Yo, this is. Yo, this is. Yo, you made the news. She made the news. The manager and the other staff member flip multiple birds at the customer. But the customer stands firm and still attempts to order some food with another employee who seems more amenable. Yes, I would like to order. No, you are. Right. But the manager, what's your name? What's the manager's name? Do not take his order. We're about to call a cop, so move. Call a cop for what? You go, I'm going to wait for you. Go ahead, you wait for Seeing his options dwindling before him, the customer decides to take a more humble tack after the first cashier returns to her post. Look, I'm not trying to make you upset. I would apologize to you, but you bugged out on me. No, because But I got you on camera. I got you and your manager. I would never disrespect, but you did. Look, her you to relax, because I'm also helping somebody else. All right. Did I not help somebody else? All right, it's cool. I was sitting here, some lady was asking me for help. All right, it's cool. All right, all right, all right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's frustrated trying to help somebody and help you. I'm sorry, I'm out. To his credit, the man drives away. Still hungry, perhaps, but hopefully comforted by the fact. You're going to be famous if you close the window. That escalating a fight with drive through employees <laughs> is ultimately <laughs> for the birds. At this fast food restaurant in Santa Monica, a bystander records as a customer complains that she allegedly got the wrong sauce on her burger. But to the bystander, it's about so much more than that. You know, these guys have a hard job. I mean, you I think... I know that, I know that. I like, know that. it's just some sauce, man. Are you they work a lot. No, hey. No, no, it's you. just a little bit of sauce. I work, for a I work too. I work at... I need to hear you yelling at this man for just doing his job. Yeah, but no, no, no. You need to show people respect. This is America. Show them respect. No, she's yelling at this man over sauce. You guys, be nice when you come out here. Stop belittling these people. They're under enough stress. The corporation's making all the money and letting these people have to deal with the front lines. This is horrible. This is not America. This is not how we treat our fellow brother and man. We walk over dead bodies in the sidewalk. People spun out. We just act like it's normal. This is not normal. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And this is what we're breeding. People that just don't care. They just want to get their food, get their live by, consume, die. Words to live by, which pretty much boils down to one thing. So you should tell me, hey, sorry, I'm not here. Everyone can agree on. But you know that, right? That's disgusting. Every employee deserves respect. But I don't need to hear you yelling at this man for just doing his job. Yeah, but no, no, no. You need to show people respect. This is America. At a fast food drive through You really shouldn't be in the drive through <laughs> A dissatisfied customer is holding up the line after her sandwich order fell short of expectations. It's not what's advertised on the TV. It's not what a pork belly deluxe looks like on the TV. Disgusting is what it was. It's all fat. It's got this much pork in the middle underneath the tomato. Disgusted with the quality of the first deluxe, she returned it and ordered a second. This burger was a second try to your head. The second one, the first one wasn't bad enough. The second one came back from the microwave. And now the disgruntled woman is awaiting manager approval on a third attempt at the same sandwich. I'm gonna bring out the big guns here. I'm gonna love this. No one cares. I don't care what you're saying, pal. 
And just for you, I might hold you up a little bit more. I, I don't I've got nowhere to be. Get out of the drive through. I have asked you nicely. I asked nicely for the pork belly. I asked nicely for the second pork belly. Yeah. If you think that I'm going to ask you nicely for a third one, you got another thing coming. And I'm a swearer. I haven't sworn at you yet. Bitch. Reportedly, the woman's third deluxe was not up to snuff either. No word on if she requested a fourth. The first one wasn't bad enough. The second one came back from the microwave. Or why she declined to wear shoes in a fast food parking lot. Disgusting is what it was. Get out of the drive-thru. Are you doing um, burgers or are you doing breakfast? Breakfast. Breakfast. This Scottish man is trying to place a drive through order in Mobile, Alabama. Going to give us uh, uh, just a bottle of juice. And uh, do you do any rolling square sausage? The drive through employee apparently cannot decipher his order, so a co-worker steps in. Can I take your order? Oh, do you do any, do you do rolls and square sausage? You said a burrito with No, 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 no burrito. Uh, all I'm wanting is a bottle of juice and a rolling square sausage. The, the, the girl says you're doing breakfast now. What was that? Wait, I'm sorry, I'm not. Um, I'm saying I want a rolling square sausage and I want uh, just a bottle of juice, just any bottle of juice. You say you just want a sausage patty? No, no, no. No a sausage patty, pal. No. Making matters even worse, the Scotsman apparently had one too many drinks the night before. Listen, sorry, I've got a hangover and it's eating me like a <laughs> All I'm wanting is a bottle I, of juice. Finished, sorry. Sorry? Ah, oh, listen, just forget it, pal. Just forget it. Here's hoping he finds some way to get his roll and square sausage. Do you do rolls and square sausage? Whatever the heck that is. You said a burrito with sausage. These days, getting the food you want, when you want it, is easier than it has ever been. But on this Christmas day at a Tennessee drive-through, a long line of customers are in for an unpleasant surprise. Keep it rolling. <laughs> and are we gonna go by the... Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. All these people waiting. <laughs> and they're not even open. <laughs> You can even see the holiday hours. Christmas Day. Closed! What are people doing? Closed! On the plus side, if they're extra patient, they'll be first in line for the day after Christmas. 